All right, uh, welcome. This video will show you um, how I made an Arduino Yoon host controller uh, communicate with this AMCI SMD uh, industrial integrated stepper motor to make this uh, ball screw move back and forth from Nook Industries using an iOS client that I wrote. Uh, so the basic architecture here is as the host controller, we have an Arduino Yoon which uh, is a little um, embedded microprocessor running Linux on one chip, and then uh, on the other side uh, running just the standard, I believe it's an Atmel chip um, on the Arduino side of things. So uh, on the Linux side, I programmed a host controller in C that listens for client commands over Wi-Fi, translates those commands into uh, commands the motor understands, and then uh, using Modbus TCP, over Ethernet here uh, communicates those commands back to the motor and uh, then as need be communicates, uh, I guess translates those responses from the motor into something the client understands. So the UN is the host controller, put the cover back on there. Uh, this is connected like I said via Ethernet to my AMCI SMD integrated uh, stepper motor and drive. So here's your motor right here and then this is your drive and integrated encoder. And uh, this either talks Ethernet IP or Modbus TCP. And in this case, uh, here's my Ethernet coming in here and my power down here. And then, then, of course, this whole thing is coupled to this Nook ball screw, which is just a standard uh, linear actuator, um, actually made here in Cleveland, Ohio, that uh, moves stuff back and forth. Um, so from the client side of things, I created an iOS app, which runs on either an iPad or an iPhone or, I guess, any iOS device. And this is connected to the Yoon's built-in wireless network. And basically, I'm communicating back and forth between the uh, host controller and uh, this um, interface here using, a, uh, I guess, a communications protocol that I made up uh, using standard Linux sockets for, uh, for this particular application. So basically, I can connect here. That brings up the main screen, shows that I'm connected, um, shows the SMD status is good. I can reset errors by tapping that button there. Um, I can see the real-time drive status. So these are all my errors up here. Position and valid error is normal. If I scroll down through here, I can see all the input states, positions. I can see my heartbeat blinking, which tells me that I am indeed connected to the motor in real time. And all this is updating uh, every 250 milliseconds. And you can scroll down and just see all the different, uh, different bits here. Uh, I can also configure the drive. So go into here, and it pulls out all of the relevant drive data so you can set motor current, idle percentage, turn on stall detection if you wanted to, turn on and off the encoder, set input states, purposes, etc, etc. Go back to the main screen. All right, and to make a move, you actually do some neat stuff. So under jog move, for example, I can configure all these different parameters, speed, acceleration, decel, blah, 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 clockwise, counterclockwise, and if I hit jog, you look over here, you can see it's moving. And I can kind of change this speed just by changing the slider. Let's go the other direction. So you can see here, so if I go back here, and I can stop it. And it works out pretty well. In fact, I get both those in frame so you can see what's going on here. Change the direction again. That's yeah, kind of cool. So that's all over Wi-Fi, communicating back and forth. Um, I can go to relative moves. So I've programmed the motor here, I should say I programmed the drive, so that it knows the pitch of the screw. So for instance, if I want to run at full speed, let's say uh, negative five inches, negative goes left, I can program that in, go down here, and when I tap execute move, this guy will move by negative five inches. Kind of cool. Um, let's see, if I want to go positive 5 inches, it should go back to about the same spot. All right. And there it went. So that's kind of neat. Uh, also built in, um, the original intent of this was I didn't have a good way to demo this thing at trade shows. Um, so I built in this demo move profile. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to, well, that's no, fine. Demo move profile. Uh, basically, this this just makes the actuator move back and forth in a, a pattern that's interesting. So I'll turn on repeat and basically hit execute move. And as you can see from the status, it's homing. So this is a built-in routine into the SMD. When it homes, this tab is basically looking for that proc switch. 
So it's going to find it, and then it's going to go forward and then back off of it. So you can actually see these values changing slowly, and then it homes. And then I'm sending move segments, again, over Wi-Fi, to the Arduino, which is then translating them into drive commands, uh, sending move segments to the drive. So it's programming right now. You can see there's lots of blinking lights there. And when it's done, the whole thing moves. Very cool. And if you go here, if we go down through the status page, you can actually see all the different bits flipping back and forth as this thing moves. It's kind of neat. And that is basically that. So if I exit, I exit out, and I'm good to go. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this six minutes didn't uh, bore the pants off you. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to drop me a line, uh, jd at pauldavisautomation.com. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn or uh, on Twitter at, at John P. R. Davis. Have a great one.